Going back to the Kentucky Derby, this last Kentucky Derby. Who lost money on it? Did you guys? Oh, you won. Did you lose? No, I won. You won. I had the winner. So the winner. I'm, I'm, one of the unhappy people here. Well, technically, I won, this. but so, I should be a little bit more unhappy because if they knock out the first place horse and my number nine Charlie moves to second with the number seven winning at that rate, I'd be making a lot more money. Not I'm really. Okay. I'm okay. Not but really, you won. Matt. Not but really, because they would have knocked the seven down completely. The nine. Wait, what number was Medina Spirit? Eight. They would have taken him out completely. Right, the 26 to 1 would have won. He would have won. Then Charlie would the, have been second. The, and then the favorite the nine, would have been third. Yeah, but still it would pay more than pay more. I don't think so. Well, so. No. either way, so the winning part. Because the, the favorite got in. Five or, yeah, but still the. Okay. I, the I'm unofficial. Not, I'm not going to argue with the semantics, but I, I still think that you the ticket money. would be great. Any horse betters out there, would the ticket have been more, even though the favorite finished his third with a 26 to 1 winning? That's all, right. all I'm Twelve saying. to one won it, so it's okay. All right, guys. So let's let's get one? to the story. Let's get to the story. So Medina Spirit could be DQ'd after failing his drug test. Um, Maz, you were a big horse guy. Oh, that's, that's my you number one. You love the sport. I do. You're a champion for the sport. I'm embarrassed. And it, you're embarrassed for the sport right now. I'm yeah. happy to hear you say that because I feel like sports betting has now changed so many different sports right oh, yeah. especially ones like this that used to be you really couldn't go and and make money off of horse betting unless you went to the to the actual event now you can bet on these horses from anywhere so there was so many more people i feel betting on on this race than before now that sports gambling is legal i got a question for you mass yeah right because remember a week ago Bef yeah, and even before this news came out, we were excited because the younger generation was getting yep. involved. It was like the resurgence of yeah. what we're talking about. Yeah. Well, maybe it was bo exciting. box boxing's going the wrestling route, making a joke of it. But man, it was look to the younger kids. Is this the worst, worst thing that could happen to the sport? Yeah, it don't it doesn't look good. It's not like he's a first time offender. It's uh, the most popular guy in horse racing. Everyone knows the man with the white hair and and the and the rose-colored sunglasses, the blue-colored sunglasses, Bob Baffert. And he's won seven Kentucky Derbies. He's won so many races. He's the top trainer of all time. But he has a history in the last year and change. About last 13 months, he's had seven horses test positive uh, for some sort of uh, anti-inflammatory or a steroid. And he's gotten away with it so far. He's only been suspended... Uh, a couple of days and find a thousand dollars i think he's beaten all of this but i got a lot there's a lot of people in the horse game that don't like him didn't like that his horse won on saturday uh, a couple of saturdays ago and they think he's bad for the sport now they've been, they've caught other trainers J uh, jason service was a guy that got basically thrown out this is one of the top trainers as well but they caught him red-handed and now bob baffert it's i don't know man it's it doesn't look good. Do I want him to be innocent? Yeah, I do. Do I think he could be innocent? Yeah, I think he can be innocent. But again, this is not a steroid. This is something that helps the horse feel better. It's like taking an aspirin. The only thing it has, it's not illegal for the horse to have this, but it has to be out of his system by race day. And it turns out there was a trace of it. And he, I forgot the, the word he called it. It's not like a millimeter or a centimeter. It's less than like one out of a million percent of that drug was in this horse's system is what Bob Baffert is saying and they're busting his balls on it now he knows there are people out there that don't like him and they're going to push the envelope to try to get him out of there they don't want him there they, they don't they want to have they want these owners to give them their horses Matt they, do you know how like how how many days does it take for you for the horses to get that out of I don't so know. you don't know so no. you don't know but they would like, know oh, of course they, they, would, they would have to know obviously yeah. there's there's some type of science that has already been discovered on this yeah. where they could say a week prior to the race you cannot correct um you know give the horse give this. the horse anti-inflammatories the thing is what i told you in the update this is the bad thing he comes up with these excuses that the the sample was tainted uh or you heard what he said. I told you in the update when he said the groom that was taking care of the horse for him was on a cough medication. He was on. A, he was had a, he had a cold and he had peed in the stall. 
which I didn't know grooms just peed right peed. right there on the horse's oats and 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 straw and hay. But I guess the, you know you do. I guess I you got me. And the horse ate the tainted sample. I mean, this is some of the crap that's coming out of his mouth. Wait, Adam, are you able to pull up that that social media post from Joey two times that he said about he? He, something about the parole officer didn't know he told the judge something to the parole. I told the judge some drug addict peed all over my food and that's why I violated my parole he didn't buy it either that is high five <laughs> the best thing I have read I, I mean, come <laughs> that on, is Bob, amazing it's I wish true. you didn't say anything why, why do you even say anything why just stay, even say anything just, just stay shut there up. let's see because this is what happens if his appeal fails and they find that the sample is good the horse gets disqualified. The owner, who paid thirty-five thousand for him, remember we started. This horse was mm -hmm. bought for a thousand dollars, then sold for thirty-five thousand. So the owner that owns him at thirty-five thousand was going to get one point eight million for winning the Derby. That money has not been given to the owner yet until this race is completely wow. declared official. If he is out, he's out of the money. He's disqualified from the race. Mandaloon's owners would win it. And here's the downside: Mandaloon is not running in the Preakness. So there will be no triple crown. And even if, wow. let's say, Medina Spirit does win it, they're going to be looking at him like he was a cheat anyway. Because right. a few years ago, when Justify won it, and this was a Baffert horse, his last triple crown winner, word came out like a month later that Justify had some failed tests as well, but they kind of swept it under the rug. Mm. So there was word well, about like that. And then they retired the horse early. It's going to be a little difficult to sweep things under the rug right now with as yeah. big as the world of sports betting has become. There's way too much money that was put on this race. It's not only that, Do you Pilar, think that it's this because changes? the horses, they, they don't want the horses to be injured. They don't of want, course, they don't want more, any more horse deaths. Santa Anita was basically almost closed, one of the best racetracks in the country, in California. I remember. What I almost was closed because of all the horses breaking down. And they, what happens is if they get too much drugs, they run uh, as a, uh, injured, they run injured and they break down and you can't help a horse when he breaks right. a leg. You have to euthanize him. And yeah, that, that's the, the shitty worst. part. The absolute worst. I went to the, the medical directors <clears throat> online to check mass. Um, Charles said, was it a picogram? Well, that's pe it. A derived metric yes. measurement unit of mass of picogram Thank you. is equal to one trillion yes. of a gram. It's a picogram. Thank you, Charles. Thank you, Charles. Thank that's you. Amazing. Way to look out, hookers. Yep. Yeah, good about looking that. out. Th well, let me ask you man. guys this. Though. Forget the betting. Dude. It's the horse's health first because there's no there's no sport if the horses keep breaking absolutely, down. Absolutely, absolutely. And look, I have been to a race where they had to put a horse down, and it was you you feel like a complete it's devastation, rotten person for even supporting the sport to begin with. It's you feel terrible when you're seeing so you're them saying take the horse Maz, away, but... that the horse association is not gonna go lightly and slap a 5k fine <laughs> on a repeat offender in no. this league they're looking for them you know what there's guys out there that want them out so did somebody do something who knows this is yeah. oh so oh yeah. wow we're who getting knows? into new york yeah no, we're getting it's the into truth. The, did somebody spike the yeah. juice yeah you don't know they want them out, man. Wow. I mean, owners well, he, are just get they give their horses to Baffert. They want him out. He's wow. he's on the precipice of being he's in trouble, so man. So you think it's a more of a black ball? He's definitely got black ball against him. No okay. question okay. about it. But did he is he doing stuff illegal? I got friends on Twitter. My standard bred gal on Twitter, she is a huge horse fan and hates his guts. I mean, there's a lot of horsemen that hate this guy's guts. Easy. Um, we love that you're supporting our show, even though you are at home today. We hope you feel better. Um, but Easy just hit us up on social media, and he said, "That's what I'm saying." <laughs> yeah. What's he saying? That's crazy. Yeah, what's he this saying? The, what you guys were saying about the whole. <laughs> hey, look. People I, want him out. Let me, the let me tell you something. Thinking. Let me tell you something about but, horse racing. It is a phenomenal game. It is great. It's, it used to be called. It's still called the sport of kings. It's exciting. There's no more excitement that you can get out of a sporting event than going to a horse race and rooting for your horse, especially on these big races like the Derby, Preakness, and Triple Crown. It's it's phenomenal. Has it taken its lumps over the years? Yeah. I mean, there's one racetrack left here in Michigan. 
and it's on its last legs, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Northville Downs. I support it still. You know, it takes me 45 minutes to get there, but I still go and I try to support it. And, you know, you eat up in the restaurant, you, you spend some money there, you, you do what you can. And Michigan turned its back on the horse game. Uh, it comes from the politics. It comes from MGM. Mm -hmm. MGM is the, is the kingpin that put the horse tracks out of business here in Detroit. That is a fact. They just, they suffocated them. They made the government suffocate the horse game out of here. It's not what it used to be. It is what it is. I wish I could make fans out of all of you, but it's, uh, if things well, like this happen, it's not, it's going like to be this. gone. It's going to be gone. Yeah, things like things, this continue to happen. Well, the, sad, the sad thing, Maz, is like you mentioned it, when Hort, this is goes on, right in the in the, every business we're taking the horse race business but because of all the eyes were on it and it was so, something that everybody was excited and this year's kentucky derby it probably drew more fans or you, know, you changed your yeah. operating you went to the track this year to enjoy it you know it's a different feel yeah. for all the right. excitement this is just burst in the bubble to me it's like oh well you know how not just the betting aspect but the health of the animals and all this stuff sure. and then it goes into is there something behind this is somebody is this a setup is this so all of these questions that nobody has the answers if for. it's a picogram and this is a, this is a legal substance like yeah. this life. is a legal substance if there's a picogram <laughs> in this animal's blood i don't i don't think it's a big deal but it's a rule that it has to be out of his system by race time Right. If it happened to like D Max uh, other horse that finished like eighth, no one is going to hear about this. But the horse won. So what are they doing? Sure. Oh, Bafford won. Oh, Pico Graham. Yeah, let's put it out there. Yeah. Well, you know, and of course it is about the horse's safety, but uh, always I, I feel like. But there's people that are now upset. Tons of people that lost money that won money off of Medina Spirit that lost money because of Medina Spirit winning. How is how how do you handle that? I know me personally, I almost feel like I don't think I we lost what three hundred dollars that day. <laughs> so you wouldn't have had the winner anyway. No, I know, but it still kind of makes you think like, well, what if? What if we would have won? Well, let's go back two it years ago. It almost makes you think, but hold on, it almost makes you think like, do you want to bet on sports now that pay you out even though it's still kind of unofficial, where they you still need to do testings? Well, you get paid you right then and there at the racetrack. You can't wait till tests come back. Right, you for get, paid, get on, paid on on all you, of your. Yes, horse, I'm saying you get you get paid on all the apps. You get paid. You, that they horse either won take the race. Your money. He earned it. He earned the race. He earned it. He won it. I hate that they're even trying to take it back from him. If it's a, if it's it's a it's a legal substance. I'm just taking taking the other road, and I'm saying I'm upset. But that, is it that part it of the rules that there. you're not supposed to be on it? Yeah, I guess, you know, it is part of the Okay, rules. so can you get disqualified if you have it in your system? Yeah, but okay, secondary, so then, after but everyone gets paid, yeah. <laughs> well, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if you want to bet on this, it doesn't, I, I don't know if I want to bet on horses. No, nah, you'll one, be back. One, I wasn't winning, <laughs> but two, <laughs> two. I don't know, I gave out the winners. I mean, that's. You did. You and did. you're ready for the did preakness, you know? Too? Did you know that they were giving this horse? No, I did not, because <laughs> I kidding. keyed the nine. I'm just kidding. I'm I, just but kidding. I've known in the past. I mean, it's like, here's the whole thing, right? Like, when, uh, owning standard bread horse, it's the line, right? It's an uh, it's a movable line that it's mm -hmm. whoever crosses it. And like you said, all the trainers trying to get the edge, trying to get the edge. You see it in NASCAR when guys get suspended because, you know, they made an adjustment to the car that didn't pass inspection. So it's more or less the testing should be done before the race. To whether to scratch them or allow them, because once you right. allow them in the paddock or allow them I into the gate to race, then all, whatever they allow should go. So there's definitely it's brought up questions that need to be answered and rules that need to be changed, and it'll be interesting how the due diligence and vetting out process sure. to get behind this. So, Remember a couple of years ago, I maximum think... security in the Derby won the race. I had him as well, by the way, and he got disqualified, but it took a half an hour because they had to keep looking at the replay. He interfered. But with a couple different. of horses back, so there—that's where they changed 
Th right. That horse was actually disqualified, but that's a race in nobody in got paid yet until he, until but that's a race, that race was official. Race Correct. Talking about, but I do like what you're saying though, Dmac. Well, like, why are you the not drug testing tests them? Have everything cleared before the night so, before or the morning uh, or right, whatever. Early it that is. morning, sure. So they'll still whatever whatever it is, so that it's sort of fair. What Maz is talking about is an infraction in the pay, in the play of. In, in play, the ref, right. it's a refing infraction. It was an interference. Right, right, right. right but yeah, that's different than I know. what you're sure. talking about because if this I'm is the saying, case. Here it is two years later. But if we're it's going a through rule, crap again. right? If it's a rule, then the horse doesn't even get to race. I agree. So I, I agree I with that. And then it would, it, it would eliminate anybody being upset that they didn't get paid on, on a horse that should have won because this one, you know, cheated. All right, guys, let cheat. us know your thoughts. The horse didn't know. What did former President yeah, Trump... Hey, what if the horse... Former, maybe the horse has a problem. Trump. Maybe the horse has a problem. <laughs> it, was, and it was sneaking this stuff, and the jockeys yeah. and the owner don't even know. But it happened. The horse has a, yeah. so has there a problem. Was a headline. The horse has, has his own guy, maybe. There was a headline, and you know how headlines are. They always... They always write them really good to make you click on them, right? So there's a headline this morning on this that said, Former President Trump calls... Derby horse, um, <laughs> a derby horse that won a junkie. <laughs> <laughs> the Donald. That was like the best. Yes, mm. the horse. So let us know your thoughts. Do you think that this is going to, you know, change the way people view the sport as far as wanting to bet on it? Or do you think people are still going to continue to bet on it? I, what did what Megan McCain call him the other day? She came up with some nickname for him. For the for, for horse? Trump. No, for Trump. Oh, I don't know. Up, I have to look it up. It, it, it was very funny. I, mean, I don't it's, know. It's, it's, th those two going at each other. There are, people are always funny. going yeah, at it. Two. I just thought that it was funny that the headline said that of he course. called the horse a junkie. He's a junkie. Like, <laughs> poor horse. He probably didn't even ask <laughs> did, to be run did, in this race. Did he race. follow he it with win. wouldn't have happened on my watch? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I'm telling you, I didn't even click on it because I've learned that these are all just clickbaits. When they're really good like that, it's just really funny. It's just clickbait. But all right, guys, when we come back, it is time for us to get to the good, the bad, and the ugly. 